eight friends P Q R S T U V and W are sitting around a circular table. Some are facing the center, while some are not facing the center. Right? That is in an opposite direction to the center. S sits third to the right of Q. So now the information starts. So basically, we have to arrange eight persons P Q R S T U V W uh, around a circular table. Some are facing center, and some are not facing the center, which means they are facing outwards. So important point to be noted is when a person is facing center, left is always taken clockwise. Right should be taken anti-clockwise. When they are facing outwards. Left should be uh, anti-clockwise and right has to be taken in the clockwise direction. Okay, so let's first put up a circle. Eight positions: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Right. Read the first point. S sits third to the right of Q. Now S sits third to the right of Q cannot be marked because you know it depends on what direction is Q facing. If Q is facing center, S will be third to the right of Q, anti-clockwise of Q. If Q is facing outwards. S will be clockwise of Q. So there are multiple possibilities. T sits second to the left of Q. T sits second to the left of Q. So this also will depend on the direction of Q. So we can do one thing. I think immediately we can start with uh, two possibilities. One where Q is facing center. The other where Q is facing outwards. So let me draw one more circle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's assume Q sits here. But in one case Q is facing center. In the other case, Q is facing outwards. Okay, read the first point. S sits third to the right of Q. Third to the right of Q. Q is facing center. Right of Q anti-clockwise. First, second, third. S comes here. Q is facing outwards. Right of Q will be clockwise. First, second, third. S comes here. Remember, we do not know what direction is S facing. It could be center or outwards. Next point says T sits second to the left of Q. T sits second to the left of Q. Do that. First and second. T comes here. Left of Q clockwise. Right. In this case, since Q is facing outwards, left will be anti-clockwise. So T will be first and second in this position. <laughs> the immediate neighbors of Q face the same direction. That is, if one person is facing center, then the other person also faces center, and vice versa. So both these neighbors will either face center or both will face outwards. We'll, we'll come to that point whenever required. I think now it's not useful. R sits second to the left of T. R sits second to the left of T. And then we know T faces the center. I think this point is useful. T faces center, so fix this. T is facing center. Now go back to the previous point. R sits second to the left of T. R sits second to the left of T. So since T is facing center, left will be clockwise. First and second R comes here. Here also, since T is facing center, left is clockwise, right? First and second R has to come here. But how can Q and R both be in the same position? No. So this is wrong. You're able to follow. So very easily, we have eliminated the wrong possibility there. So this is the arrangement so far. Q, T, R, and S, where both Q and T are facing center. The directions of R and S are not known to us. Next point says U sits third to the right of R. U sits third to the right of R. Third to the right of R. Now third to the right of R, there could be two possibilities. First, second, third, or first, second, third, depending on which direction does R face. So should we try out those two possibilities? Mm, let, let me just read the next statement. V sits second to the left of W. V sits second to the left of W. W is not an immediate neighbor of Q. V sits second to the left of W. W is not an immediate neighbor of Q. V faces the same direction as S. The immediate neighbors of T face opposite directions. That is, if one person is facing center, that person faces outwards. The immediate neighbor of U faces opposite direction. I think we are better off taking the two possibilities. So I'll, I'll quickly duplicate this also. One, two. See, because I'm explaining, it is taking longer. While there is some paperwork involved, when you do it yourself, you won't be spending so much time, right? You will cut down all the explanation part. So I have just duplicated whatever we had above, right? R, S, R, S, T and Q, T and Q facing center. The next point was U sits third to the right of R. U sits third to the right of R. So in this case, let's assume R is facing center. In this case, let's assume R is facing outward. U sits third to the right of R. R is facing center, right? Right will be anti-clockwise. First, second, third, U comes here. R is facing outwards, right will be clockwise. First, second, third, U comes here. You getting it? Depending on the position of R, U sits third to the right of R. U sits third to the right of R. Okay. Uh, then the next point is V sits second to the left of W. W is not an immediate neighbor of Q. Okay, this point is important. W is not an immediate neighbor of Q. W is not a neighbor of Q. So W cannot come in this position. Here, a W cannot come in this position, right? Uh, what do we know? V sits second to the left of W. V sits second to the left of W. 
see if you take w in this position for the sake of argument let's say w is in this position we said second to the left of w first of all w's direction is not known however if w faces center we said second to the left of w so 1 and 2 v has to come here which is not possible if w faces outwards 1 and 2 v has to come here which also is not possible which means w cannot come in this position as well you're able to follow if i take w in this position either center or outwards v cannot be accommodated so w cannot come there so the only possibility is w has to come here but here again you see v sits second to the left of w now if w is facing center v has to come here which is not possible if w is facing outwards v has to come here which also is not possible so w cannot come even in this position so there were only three places available all those three cannot take w which means this is wrong so this has to be correct now try what happens here see can w come in this position in this position no because v sits second to the left of w right v second to the left of w so either v has to come here or has to come here both the positions are blocked so w cannot come here so the only possibility is w comes here and v sits second to the left of w now the only position for v is this one now see second to the this side of w is not available only second to this side is available and left of w is coming out to be anti clockwise which means w is facing outwards we know that v sits second to the left of w left of w has come out to be anti clockwise that can happen only when w is facing outwards right so if the arrangement is done uh, p will take up the left out position p q r s t u v w now just the directions have to be marked see there were some pace points of given to us right v faces the same direction as s v faces the same direction as s acha that we don't know immediate neighbors of t face opposite directions okay immediate neighbors of t face opposite directions see w is facing outwards so v should face inwards because immediate neighbors are facing opposite direction and if v is facing inwards s also will face inwards because v will face the same direction as s so we know the directions of s r w t v q only p and u are left out the immediate neighbors of u face opposite direction immediate neighbors of u face opposite direction so q is facing center p will be facing outwards see these are neighbors of u q and p they face opposite direction so since q is facing center p has to face outwards how about the direction of u how do we get the direction of u ha this point the immediate neighbors of q face same direction immediate neighbors face same direction so v is facing center u also will face center so this is the final arrangement right q v t w r s p u and who are who are facing center t v q u s are facing center w r and p are facing outwards